Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mr. GWS. Uh, it's so great to see. And a few days ago, they announced, uh, Sony just announced another uh, premium smartphone again called Xperia XZ2 Premium, uh, which is actually a sequel to the XZ Premium, uh, which they announced uh, last year. But one thing I don't understand is that why they wouldn't want to announce earlier in the first place, but wait until now because since you know XZ2 and XZ2 combat already out in Singapore and also other countries as well but suddenly you know XZ2 premium you know this is most this is the phone that you want to check out rather than XZ2 and XZ2 compact because this one has dual cameras as a you know, 4k display you no, know, one thing I found disappointed is that it's still the same design as the previous XZ2 and XZ2 Combat and despite being a very very thick device like 11.9mm thick and it's also heavy like 236 grams it doesn't even ha have a headphone jack <coughs> excuse me and specs wise it's more or less the same as the XZ2 you know Snapdragon 845 uh, 4 gigs of no but this one is 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage with micro SD card um, the battery I think it is one of the biggest one of Sony's mobile phones <laughs> 35 40 milliamps which is you no know, slightly bigger than S9 plus which is 3500 and it comes with black and silver no blue no any other colors <laughs> yeah it's quite a looking which doesn't have a headphone jack despite being a thickest smartphone and <coughs> one thing i don't understand is that it's 5.8 inch but it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio instead of a more modern 18 by 9 which i don't really understand at all yeah, it's a Kuning Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. Uh, it features HDR running Android 8.0 Oreo, but and the uh, cameras. <coughs> Excuse me, and we are so chilled today, man. Yeah, speaking about the cameras, they finally got below f2.0 this time round. Yeah, it dropped, it dropped below f2.0 this time round. It's a dual cameras and yeah. XZ2 Premium has finally have a dual cameras, Sony's own dual cameras this time around, and they finally dropped below f2.0. Uh, the these two dual cameras is a uh, one black and white and one color sensor. Not it doesn't use a uh, telephoto. It doesn't use wide angle. It's just a uh, black and white sensors like uh, Huawei does, and. Uh, Dual, this dual cameras is different type of megapixels. The color is uh, f1.8, uh, one over 2.3 side inch <laughs> pixels. Pixel size is 1.2.2 microns, and uh, yeah, sensor size is one over 2.3, just like the monochrome. Uh, but the megapixel is 19. The monochrome is 12, but it's a bigger aperture f1.6 uh, with one point. 5, 5 microns, yeah, larger pixels, but it's still the same sensor as the color ones. And what they do is that, uh, the, as, as you saw on the video, no, as all video can cram up to 12,800, while the photos go up to 51,200, yeah, which I say, right, man. <coughs> And I think with uh, color and chrome sensor together, it more or less produce much better photos than rely on the color sensor alone. Because I think it can it can crank all the way up, mainly because uh, with the art, with the model chrome sensor, can combine the pictures together. And just like uh, previous, just like. Uh, at Z2, it can shoot a uh, 4K HDR video, 30 FPS, 60 FPS. No, 4K, 4K is only up to 30 FPS, but uh, it still has a 1080p, 960 frames per second, slow motion video, uh, which is good, which is not bad. 
and the front the front camera is this time it's 30 megapixels not 5 megapixels which is no like i really this is what at z2 should have been it's still called at z2 premium because the at z2 like it cut more or less some of the corners like the front camera the headphone jack yeah this one still doesn't have headphone jack unfortunately and yeah it still has a stereo speakers it still have the vibration models like just like the xz2 and the design well it's good but i but this one is so bulky and so thick that not many people want to invest in like it's because like my phone like oneplus 5t is very thin very comfortable it's very light phone but this one is huge man it's really huge phone and it's a 16 by 9 not 18 by 9 which is much difficult to hold yeah i did hold my v20 before it's quite a huge phone it's quite a huge device but i'm not very sure no it's still yeah, it still has some convenience like what wireless charging even though i don't really care that at all yeah but still it's more or less a great device <coughs> but not really not that kind of phone that i look forward to so <coughs> yeah. sorry man so that's about it and if you like this video comment subscribe to my channel mr gws and as always I will see you on the next video.